that there are more pressing issues than interracial unions within the black community, amongst black unions of black men and black women, than there is the unification of black, black men with white women. But this idea that the white woman doesn't necessarily involve herself in the struggle of supposed um, coloured people when, they, when she gets into the union is a complete falsality. Even if it's not a true reality, mm -hmm. why is it out there and how can we control that? Because for me, I made it very clear, there is a value in black men marrying black women. Yeah. Because it's part of the process of fixing the black community. If that's the mentality that you're having towards interracial relationships, that's the mentality that you're probably having towards black relationships. And then you wonder why black relationships aren't working. gender war, so the nuclear, the nuclear, sorry, the gender, the gender dynamic, men and women getting along, just men and women. Do you think that like uh, the benefit system is trying to play on that, or do you think it's a case of? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll answer that. I'll answer that in a second, but I want to stick to um, Raven's kind of like principle of keeping it for argument, and then we'll address the side. Do well. you want to add up anything, or do you want to answer the question? Well, yeah. So what you're saying is basically that you know there's a gap between men and females. Right? Yeah. And have you identified what you think that might be? Absolutely. What do you think that might be? Might I think, be think it's the frequent advancement in technologies that basically allowed us to devalue people and realize that we don't necessarily need people. Where men needed, no, where women needed men previously to get resources or whatever, they don't necessarily need men now because they can go into the workplace and they have comfortable jobs that won't put them at risk, etc. And then on top of that, there's um, the whole kind of like being able to marry into wealth, etc. You know, Listen here, man. I'm not playing that bullshit, Dizzy. You're mad. It's not happening, man. Oh, so cool. No, don't do that anymore. I do business ones. Even, man. I've got over this. Men have historically enjoyed the world as they're having, but as soon as they want to settle down, they want the women to be pure, virgin, sanctified. You know, they want them to be the full package, and you cannot have your cake and eat it as well. And this is why I think we're seeing such a backlash from women in this pro feminist movement, this exaggerated feminist movement because of the way they've been treated historically. And until we address that as men and better our character as men, I feel like we're going to get more women acting out. Now, so what you're saying, so you analysing your video with Raskett last week, no. he kind of supports you just this. Yeah. He was being self-critical of men and saying he has to change himself mm. in order to get the better dynamic between them. I think, I, think, I, think, I think the problem was it, it felt like he was trying to Seize the responsibility from the woman to feel so. Right. So, so like at the at the end of the day, there's two people in this crime. Right? Like you can't you can't just blame one side. There, 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 there has there has to, there has to be some sort of blame on the yeah, I, I feel sides. like it was very much like I'm gonna blame. I hey. see what I'm doing. He's right. been bad. Just pointing my fingers. I, <laughs> that's what I got from the video. Yeah. So yeah. But I think from a, right now we're just males here, yeah. and there's no female. And I think it's very important to have the, the female dialogue. Yeah, definitely. But as long as it's just males, we can only really speak about how we can fix ourselves because we're not actually women, so we don't necessarily know but, how women no, speak. No, but, 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 but I do believe that 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 we do have the right to 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 create. Just to add on, just to add on before yeah, you yeah, yeah. Um, his, again, historically, even for the last two decades, right, the, the advice to fix men's self has not come from men, it's come from women. So the idea that we can only talk about this subject when a woman is involved, why is that not reflected on the other side? Why is it that women are the ones constantly coming up with solutions for men? Solutions which, again, at the end of the day, they don't even want. So they want the nice guys, but then they go for the bad guys and all that kind of rhetoric, right? right? They come up with solutions that don't make sense, but you're saying now that we need to have a woman here to have this discussion. No, not necessarily. I agree with you. Well, no, having no, having no, a fair no, point. No, 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 no. Yeah, if you want to have a. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You have to. Right? Absolutely. It's 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 when it comes to reforming, yeah. we are men, and we are weak to reform ourselves. Absolutely. Right? And if you are trying to get a woman, right, you should understand that. But, you know, I'm responsible for what I give out. Absolutely. Yeah. That's it. So, you know, and really, just like you're talking about women taking the bad girl, mm. men should be taking the bad girl. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Right? And I think I'm saying last time that as a culture, if we start venerating the hard work in, uh, you know, construction yeah. stuff, then everyone has to perform to it. So that's the strategy I'm giving men. Absolutely. Yeah. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on, bro. I disagreed with you in that video was the fact that, and this is kind of why I 
have the whole kind of like um, criticism towards men. It's because whenever the, the subject of uh, okay, why is the divorce is happening? Okay, why are the destruction of the family? Um, it's always fingers being pointed at women and feminism. But specifically, specifically feminism. And when I listen to like, I think like rape as well, and people just go like. Oh well, you shouldn't have uh, dressed like that and gone out like that. And I'm like, how could you say that? Like, a woman was great. If this is a case where men were doing this, oh, trust me, there'd be a backlash. Big sergeant of a card said, like, oh, rape has always been a thing in our society, and we shouldn't. You know, I'm thinking, like, why would you say that? Like, and I'm sorry, but if this is uh, shit like in Sweden, yeah. like where the brown people are doing it, then you'd be you'd be hearing backlash. You'd be hearing a lot of people going crazy. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's kind of why I'm against this whole kind of we've got to blame women. Uh, but that's the thing though, whenever we talk about the subject, it always comes across to some people. And I think a lot of people have such a disp disp disposition to protecting you. And that's such a detriment to society because you're automatically discriminating against men. So even in this, in the, even in the spectrum of this topic, we're talking about treating men and women equally. But automatically, the assumption that we're putting the blame on men, I mean on women solely, yeah. has come up. But no one has actually said that all of the blame has been on women. Man, I feel so to make it slightly controversial. Oh, I love this. I think that when we're talking, we have to understand the power dynamic, right? So, uh, 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 African being racist to uh, European is wrong. Yeah. But, but there is, is bad. Yeah, but, but vice versa is bad because they're in that history behind the, the, the discrimination, right? Same with the, the male female dynamic. You know, the male, males have been subjugated females for, for many, many generations. Yeah, it's not a time. Right? So that's why I say it isn't depending, too bad. depending on what society you're in, but for the yes, most but, part, yes. But even, for the most yeah, part, so, yes. So let's just say that England is, is more liberal than somewhere else, right? Absolutely. But at the same token, <laughs> still in this dynamic, it still isn't like a, a clear cut, right? It is harder from my observation to be a woman with so many activities than it's to be a man. Some of them are actually are natural and we can't that, but some doesn't need to. So from that understanding, that's why there's like a, 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 a gentleness that is given to women because we, are, we understand the case that we're looking at. Yeah? The one thing I'm saying, in fact, I, I don't really talk to uh, white, um, white uh, uh, non-black races about issues I'm not really interested in. But if I did, I would like them to actually understand what they might be contributing, right? But I can only expect them to do that if me as a man, I can try to see the world from how a woman is. Does that make sense? And I'm that tribal, right? So that's why I'm assuming Russ Bickham, people like him, are quite merciful in their delivery because they understand the pain that the black woman's gone through. And I wonder what the problem was, it, was, it, it just felt kind of patronizing. And it, it, in terms of in terms of towards the women, women like it, it's almost as if we treat them we treat them almost like children like they, they are grown they, they are grown adults themselves they, 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 and it's very selective as well when we want to be children they, yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they can make they can make these decisions so for example for example um, when when uh, what's the, when uh, a woman when a woman picks when a woman picks a picks a picks a man like a dead, like a dead right. and then and then she gets knocked up well. Well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, 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 the guys are dead. You're like, you know, nobody's like, refuting that. But, but you, you have to, you have to pick your meat very carefully. Like, you can't just, you can't just go into bed with anybody else, or just anybody, and then, and then expect them to be a good father. And I just want to, I just want to add on as well. It's a good thing that you brought up power dynamics because I feel like this is one subject that doesn't get touched on very, very. It's presented in a very surface level. Well, surface, first surface level kind of like um, rhetoric, and I don't think that's fair on the kind of like the spectrum of the whole conversation. When you're speaking about men being a little bit more dominant and powerful than women, that comes on a very physical plane. But people forget that there's a psychological plane to that. I heard that. And the problem is, yeah, the problem is with that is that. When we talk about, uh, I guess the almost the, the resources, and I guess the kind of like the, the knowledge that women are, get, are granted, that men are granted in terms of like the sexual dynamic and the sexual marketability and stuff like that, men are completely oblivious, if not completely, completely kind of like lost in this situation. You can get a woman who is supposedly like not 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 to be rude, a woman who is very mundane, very plain, very average looking kind of thing, my favorite type. And then they can they can they can um they can they can put a bit of makeup on, wear heels or whatever, and they automatically boost up to a nine. 
right? Now the problem is, is that they have that ability to, to harness that power, right? And that power is what? Used upon men. When they go to bars, when they go to clubs, when they go to all of these places, they dress in a certain manner, in a certain fashion, in order to attain wealth. Wealth from who? Wealth from men and potential suitors, right? Now, the well, problem is... No give me two seconds, give me two seconds. The problem is where we get the rhetoric now that you cannot say that because some women just go out to enjoy themselves. Well, I am able to per perfectly enjoy myself without a face of makeup. I'm perfectly able to enjoy myself without heels. I'm perfectly able to enjoy myself without a tight dress. These are all things that cause you discomfort. And if not as well, along the way, they cause you a whole lot of functional problems, especially when you're wearing heels. So the idea that these supposed kind of like, um, I'll call them sorceries, <laughs> these supposed sorceries are used to basically just give them a good time. Can you show me any evidence that these particular aspects, right, that they find so fundamental to going out and having fun, why they can't do without them? Right. No, so, it's because most women are unbelievably insecure. Like most women think that they're fat even when they're just average size. But and all women well, think that they're ugly. But if you're going out to play, say, say if a guy's going out to play video games with his guy friends, he's not thinking, am I fat? He's not no, thinking, am I on a track? Men and women are different, whilst men are very much kind of. Uh, but where is where is that? Well, let, go, let, go, let go, me go, add go. To, let me make a bit more. Go, 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 go. Yeah. So what you've identified, you're, you're contributing to the power dynamic, right? I know some women will disagree. But if you're talking about women put on high heels, makeup and so forth, mm. historically, a lot of this was done to appease men, mm. right? And men have always been hunters, kind of like confidence and stuff. Because I was going to say, the reason is because now it's become stereotypically female. Men used to wear makeup and oh, men used to wear heels as well. Yeah. But this was to prove what? To look like they were wealthy, yeah, yeah, right? Understand. Now the idea is that they do this in order to attain wealth. No matter whether it's not for men or women, it's to attain wealth or to get themselves resources and to create opportunities, right? Yeah. The difference is, when you talk about the power dynamic, right? The power dynamic is completely irrelevant to whether you're male or female, right? Because if an opportunity comes where it's a job opportunity, she's going to dress up. Yes, you but she's, 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 she's still a men not going to the men's power. She's still appeasing to the job. But she's still appeasing to the men's power. So if a woman is dressing up to, to uh, sorry, sorry. If, if, if a woman's dressing up to, to uh, try to get power, she, she's trying to please a man who has the power. So really the dynamic is there. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, so that whole makeup um, saga, which way you want to flip it, yeah. seems to be done for the benefit of the man with yeah. the but That's, that's on, identifying the that dynamic power that's there. You, you know what I'm saying? But you understand that that dynamic is something that women have pushed on to men, as opposed to men pushing on to women. Because really? men, men didn't create heels. No, they did. I swear, come yeah, on, sure. man. They must have, yeah. Men used to wear heels. Men used to wear heels. Men used to wear heels. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, wrong. Wrong. I'm not sure. I'm wrong. pretty sure. I could right. be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's What? Let's try What? I have no idea. They're a bit wearing like Sam Europe. In Europe, they wear heels. They must have been wearing heels. The musketeers. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I actually don't know. But it's been inherited by the boots. Three musketeers. Yeah. So. I'm just saying. In particular, when it comes to all of these aspects, right, the makeup, the heels, the tight dresses, etc., right, these were all fashion. Let me ask this one. When a woman wants to look good, yeah. like, quote unquote, right? But why does she want to look good? Well, that's my point, right? If she's insecure. If, if, if she wants to look good for other women to see her, or is it for, for the men when she's at? Yeah? That's, the, that's, what, that's what I'm talking about. Because there's many situations where women are in the makeup room amongst other women. And, and they're comfortable, right? Absolutely. But it's when they they're competing with each other. Well, yeah, and, but, but why are they competing for them? They're for the attention of the male. Yeah. The but the problem is. Uh, well, no matter what we're go, saying, go, go. we are identifying the dynamic between men and women and who holds the powers. And that's why we're trying to shift it so we don't, women don't have to. But you have to, you have to be fair and you have to actually address the fact that some of the onus does go on to the woman. Because yeah. the point is, is that just because there's a system that basically asks you you need to dress a certain way to obtain x y and z you don't have to play to that system there's a system that says if i sell out as a black man right i can be wealthy but i don't want to do that because i don't want to do it at the expense of other people so why are you then right exempting women from that same responsibility well, uh, well you have to you have to identify what uh, particular actual <laughs> thing right it's oh. very broad. Yeah, go on. And once you, so, so, so even when you say it's like selling out, you have to identify how does one sell out. You see what I'm saying? Mm. How does one uh, throw one's community under the bus? Absolutely. Yeah? So you have, with the women thing, you have to establish 
how they're doing that in okay. the actions they're doing. So I don't know. No worries. So we have women now who don't wear their natural hair colour. Okay. They're not their natural height. They don't have their natural skin colour anymore. And they don't even have the natural pigmentation of their lips anymore. Okay. Now, a lot of women have insecurity problems because they don't look the certain type of ideal beauty standards that we assert over here, right? That men assert. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yes, that men assert, right? We can talk about the biology of, of that afterwards because the idea that men assert it as if we just placed it upon them. No, you have to then prove that to me as well, the same way I'm proving this to you, right? So, in terms of um, when we're talking about um, how women throw other women under the bus, like this, the gentleman said, they compete as well. They compete with each other for better men. rights to get men, right? Now, the problem is, is that there's a lot of women out there who are different shape, different shades, different sizes, and different races, right? They all cannot be blue-eyed, blonde hair, thin with big boobs, which is the beauty standard of the West, right? But we keep, wait, wait, give me two seconds. We keep, right, producing makeup foundations, dyeing different, so hair, different hair colors, right? Boob implants and so and so, right? To get people to look a certain way, other than accepting that there is a range and variety of beauty as opposed to that. And women are complicit in that. Because again, I'll give you an example. Why does Beyonce wear blonde weave? Because it's a look, it's a look. Are the men not complicit in that for her wearing that blonde weave? They are complicit, the men are definitely complicit, yeah, 100%. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And, and yeah. I was about to raise the point, right? Yeah. Why has it become a norm for every coloured woman to wear a weave? Absolutely. The mumba club. Absolutely. Then women look beautiful with their actual natural mm, hair. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Seriously, why, why are they looking like that with, with that fake shit? I hate black women with blonde hair. It's just wrong. You want to bring this up? Fuck. Um, so, if we're going to go and say something. What? Now, this is what I'm saying about so her. Let's, let's, yeah, let's address the fact that, again, well, this, these are yeah. unnatural features yeah, right, yeah. that are being used to compete with other women. I think the, so the core point is white women. White well, women as well. The core point is there's one set standard of what people define as beauty. And no matter what, everyone seems to be uh, going towards that kind of look. Right? It doesn't make sense to me. It's not going to be straight in. Not everyone can achieve that. It's not going to be undermined. I mean, like, yeah. it's a bouncy and things, isn't it? And I agree, it's fairly fresh. I don't want to think of seven, let me not forget what you said. When we talk about black women and women, I have to jump in and say, the way we approach the situation could be better. So, well, you know, we have, we have, we have to understand that, that when, when low self-esteem is triggered, yeah. people don't react, right? So we don't blame people for the low self-esteem, right? Absolutely, we try to absolutely, what absolutely. Right? absolutely. So we don't go, oh, is that the problem? This is it, right? but this is, this is the thing. I think one of the biggest issues, and I would agree with you on this, where it's getting a woman to be in on this conversation, is because I feel us as men shouldn't have the right or the responsibility, really, to kind of tell women what they should wear but I feel like in this day and age where the kind of like game has become so completely um, counterproductive that other parties do need to step in and be like you know what this is an unhealthy practice why are you doing this to yourself you're naturally you're naturally beautiful the way you are okay so, so people do not but women we can say it to the cow from yeah. yeah. from we can say that the car comes home, but the reality is, um, as long as there's sort of media stuff out there that is dictating, it's going to show uh, through the show yeah. the, way the, solution, the solution is to try to get a control of the media ourselves yeah. and, and get a, a more neutral look and feel yeah. so people don't feel uh, pushed out. Now, I can't save the world, yeah. but I can try to save the black people because it's easy, right? So I can say that black people are under, black people is underrepresented, say, in the mainstream world. To an extent. Yeah, no, no, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Don't worry, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, go on, go on. yeah. so by us trying to control our narrative, we can put all the different hairstyles out there. So there's a balance. Absolutely. Right? So that's what, that's what I can do. So the balance. The reason I disagree with this narrative, not, not you, because I think the solution is absolutely perfect. You're absolutely right. And I am 100% for pushing more black people. But the problem is, right, the black man has been able to do a lot more effectively than other people and other races. Now you need to remember that a black man in particular has been called a rapist, a savage, subhuman, low IQ, right, and completely counterproductive to society. But now we do have black men being supposedly put up there as the pinnacle of male sexuality, right? And whether or not you want to talk about it's a fetish or not, I can go into the conversation. We, we can go into the conversation. Yeah. But the thing is, the problem is, a lot of this is a backhand, uh, and I've talked to 
tons and tons of white ones, right? As, as I looked on the document, and I've asked, like, and I, and I use white because of the dynamic we're going to say, right? Because this is the first of the discussion, right? The black and white. Uh, it's a one white pushed female, out, yeah, it's a one, one pushed out. One, white female, black male. Yeah. There's obviously a dynamic, so that's the one that seems to be on the advert position, right? And I've asked many women of your business said, like, what is it that really, uh, you know, draws towards the, um, the, 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 the black man, right? Yeah. And you get the first base answer, it's like, ah, you know, I like the contrast and the You know, um, I like to see the cuts because the dark is to see the cuts. All this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Brilliant. And then, you go a bit, Okay, you, go, you get a bit deeper, and then I start hearing stories like, well, I know that if I was to ever ring the police, uh, I, I'll be more protected. If my, if my partner was to ever lose it one day, I feel more secure ringing the police after uh, uh, a black person than a non-black person because I understand the black people understand straight away, the police won't understand straight away or what, what's going on. I was surprised, but I was surprised. But I was like, okay, this is interesting. Yeah? And, and also, there, there is the, the act of dominance. Yeah? Knowing that it's easier to dominate a, 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 a black person than a non-black person in many societies. Right? So this was the surprise answer that I kind of knew was there, but it was confirmed when I had deep conversations with yeah, different communities. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Now I'm not saying this is across yeah, the board, no, absolutely, absolutely. but you know, we can use it. We can use yeah. it. Yeah, so we this, can use so it. this is so. But when I say a backhand compliment, that's what I'm saying. Okay. It's not really way way great. Yeah. So I think. I'll address the whole kind of like skin aspect of it. Right? When a white woman says that she likes the contrast between dark skin and light skin. Now for me, that's as simple as someone saying that I like his eye color, I like his, you know, the, the round figure, I like the, the color of their hair, whatever. It's an aspect of you that is individual to you. And they like it because it's different. They, you have a lot of people who date other people because they have green eyes, they have blue eyes, etc. And we're pretty bad in the black community for this as well. Choosing certain features that we do like and holding on to them, even though they're more exotic and more frequent in other races than they are in our race. Now, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Wait, wait, go on, go on. I know you're going to make a, a, a string of good points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say one word answer that and you move on. Right? Yeah, go on, go on. That dynamic is true, yeah. but then if that was the case, a lot of dark skinned Bangladeshi men would be uh, there as well. Say that again? Dark skinned Bangladeshi men yeah. and dark skinned Asian would also be there, and I'm not seeing the same speech drawn towards them. Carry on. Absolutely. So, I was going to say in particular, when we're talking about this thing being a fetish, right, you need to define what a fetish is. Because an attraction is very different to a fetish. Yeah. And if someone is attracted to an element of you that is your skin color, that doesn't make it a fetish automatically. No. Now, but carrying more than skin color. Yeah, absolutely. And this is the negative. This is the negative image that we're putting out. That just because someone stops at your skin color, that's it. They can't get to know you as a person. They can't get to know you deeply. Right? Now, for me personally, in terms of um, the review that you've had, in terms of going out there and speaking and doing surveys with uh, certain white women and finding out that there is almost a power dynamic to it, I wouldn't necessarily say that doesn't exist. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily. I wouldn't um, assert that that is the only reason why certain people do things. And you have made that clear. No, you have made that clear. In particular, I think as well where this is very clear is that the divorce rate within that unification is actually much higher than it is normally. Kind of thing. So it clearly shows that one, the brothers don't put up with put up with any nonsense, and two, the women don't put up with any nonsense. They treat it as a relationship as anyone would, right? Now the problem is, I think, where we keep pushing this image of supposedly the black man chasing after the white woman, right? And we don't actually look at the facts. The facts are, as of 2010, the newlyweds, right, the least likely to get married to someone of another race is a black man. That is the least likely. The most likely to get married to someone of, an, of another race is an Asian man. Oh, I agree with that. Yes. Well, then, now, yeah. that's, that's, the, that's the number. That's but, the number. But we're not talking that's about... See, you, 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 yes. There's marriage and there's uh, companionship. So. Yeah. They're, lead, they're supposed to be leading to the same thing, is the problem. We, well, cannot, we cannot just separate the two because some people call it quits yeah. and some people don't. They're <laughs> supposed to be leading to the same thing. So when we're talking about, again, the unification between black individuals and non-black individuals, yeah. right? Let's look, at the, let's, look at, let's look at and see if it's actually a problem. And we find out it's not actually a problem because the majority of black men actually stick with black women. Now that's the issue, right? Now, the fact that you only have 70% of homes, right? Supposedly, this is just a... Supposedly, yeah. yeah. 70% of homes, right, that are actually, that aren't fathered in the black community, right, says to me that there are more pressing issues than interracial unions within the black community, amongst black unions of black men and black women, than there is the unification of black, black men with white women. 
So even why this is why this is even a topic and such a big concern is speaks to me, for me personally, it speaks to the insecurity of a lot of our race. Now when I was bringing up the black man in particular and I was talking about his sex appeal and his image, right? I meant to say that he has controlled his image, right, to a degree that he can now be seen a little bit more than just that savage that used to be. And that's the that's the um, that's the review that I've got from other women. When they talk about they talk about like you said there's the initial, the swag, there's the game. There's a style, there's a load of things that come into it before this whole power dynamic. Now if you want to talk about the relationship as we go on about it, then you need to address the actual impacts of being in an interracial relationship. You can't just say that white women get with black men and then they know that they can call the police and it's all good. No, you need to address the fact that a lot of the times when white women get with black men, they lose their status in society. They become a lot less worth than they than they um, than they originally were, and a lot of people do see this. You get a lot of women that are chucked out of their homes. Funny enough, it's the women and not the men. But you get a lot of women who are chucked out of their homes because yeah. they will get with a black so man. Me, so they lose, me, they, lose, they, lose right? they lose a lot of status and they lose a lot of privileges because they are with a black man. So for someone who's trying to gain a power dynamic in society and has that mentality of trying to get a power dynamic, why would you then start yourself on, start yourself off on? the wrong foot. Right, so let me ask you. So why are you actually forgiving? Because you said not a lot of stuff. No, no, no. I might forget the take, early points yeah, and my memory is just not as good as So you're saying that why would a, a European uh, get with an African whatever and lose, lose it? Well, I think from the point I made before, there's a there's a power dynamic within the relationship, isn't there, right? Mm -hmm. So if you if you can dominate within the relationship, then that is of value. Yeah? The only complaint I can have is what motivates you to get together. If two people generally love each other, then I'm signed in. But if, 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 if there's like something else at work, that's where there's interest, mm. yeah? And so my interest is that, right? It's the low self-esteem of people picking with that as the root, Absolutely. right? Now what you've identified is that could be a low self-esteem within women doing that as well. Mm. Right? Why they're picking? I'm not saying picking out of love, it's because they're trying to boost something. Also, there's that whole dynamic of like, telling someone no, and then no becomes sexy. We, we hit the fetish from that. I've, I've seen that many times. Absolutely. We're, that's what like we were talking about earlier about the bad boys and why you can't have the bad boy, the good boy. Because we tell you not to have the bad boy, so you go for the bad boy. Yeah? Right? And this is something I see now. That, you know, historically, when Europeans and Africans came together, there was laws put together to stop that from happening, right? There was what? There was laws put together to set the miscegenation laws, right? Mm. So, it's, it's, the irony is when those laws are stripped away, you see like a flux. Yeah? So, you don't see a flux? I mean, to go from zero to one is a flux. To go from zero to two is a flux. So to go from nothing to something is always going to feel well, like a flux. In comparison now, to other communities. Yeah, in comparison to? In comparison to other communities. But that's the problem, is that you haven't seen a flux in comparison to other communities. I would argue that you have seen a flux in the Asian community, right, getting with white people than you have seen in the black well, community. So, yeah, so, okay, now, that's a good, the, the Asian, the, numbers the, the, the Asian is an interesting one. And yeah. I have seen uh, many, uh, I feel that the, the Asian women choose to say the non-Asian man, right? And, that, and if Asians were here, I'll have that conversation because there is a history and a science behind that. I know this. Right? Yeah. Know this. And because they're not here, I don't really choose. But right now, the interest here is because we're talking about the black, right? Absolutely. And that's why we're doing that. And, and that, that is higher than average, right? Absolutely. Yeah. What's and, up? and even if it wasn't higher than average, What's up? the, the yeah, black and white dynamic of coming together, right? The miscegenation. If, even if it wasn't, yeah, go on, go on. the media and what we see is much more greater than the Chinese woman. And the absolutely. Man. So absolutely. once again, th that, that is where my interest peaks, right? Absolutely. Well, even if it's not a true reality, mm. why is it out there and how can we control that? Because for me, I made it very clear, there is a value in black men marrying black women. Yeah. Because it's part of the process of fixing the black youth. Yeah. Right? Mm. So that's my area of interest. If you love somebody, love someone, I have not said that. Right? Absolutely. But I can't fix that, but I can fix the, the challenges we go as a community. But I was going to say, I think this is my biggest problem with the black community in particular. You seem to kind of vocally magnify in on this on this issue of skin colour. And then you neglect the whole idea of character. Which is why, again, I bring up the whole point that even though more, more black men are marrying black women, right? There is still a high divorce rate. There is still a high level of fathers who don't, who not, not, let me not say don't want anything to do with their children, but they don't have anything to do with their children. Whether or not it was a mother's fault, who knows, kind of thing, right? But there's a high level of that, right? So for me in particular, I can name a few good um, activists 
who are of mixed heritage. I can name a few good activists who are in top positions of mixed heritage. That says to me that what the parents are teaching them about the culture within the black community, that says to me that the woman has taken it on board and taken the character not necessarily the skin colour, the character of the person and has realised that her children and her big knee, whatever you want to call them, right, are going to have a burden of a burden of um, non-privilege that um, she herself wasn't subjected to and she's taken it upon them herself to choose the right steps in order to make them more educated and more kind of like, a, I guess, more kind of um, more um, defend, more kind of like, a, what's the word, resourceful in life, right? Now the issue is, why are we not seeing that in the black community? So just to answer that question, yeah. uh, the first and the second. So the first one, I do not see uh, mixed, her mixed heritage partnerships where the European part of the um, the part the, 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 the union is dedicated to teaching the, the African offspring about anything African, a, a, a black betterment, anything that actually going to build up the community it was, of, of that. I, I, I very, it was, if you see one or two, yeah. high five. No, no. I, see I was going to say this because you should know this, um, just because in particular we both surely are in the same circle of kind of like listening and education. But it was Akala's mother who sought out the who sought out the Saturday school for him to start learning his African education. She was and, from Scotland. And, 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 and I would love to shake that woman's hand, but she's far and few between in comparison to her. Oh, absolutely. What, 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 what uh, organization was this? So again, oh, it was like a Saturday school, like an African, uh, an African. Well, say, yeah, it was in uh, <coughs> Holland. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, yeah, be, no, able, no, I wouldn't no. be able to give the specifics, but oh, all no, I remember no, is that because I used to go there. Yeah, all yeah. I remember is that him saying that his mother realized that he was going to go through certain things, and she wanted him to have the right kind of like fundamentals to make sure that he could back himself up, especially in school. Right? So, so yeah. the thing is. This idea, right, and I'm not saying that um, there aren't white women like this, but this idea that the white woman doesn't necessarily involve herself in the struggle of supposed um, coloured people when they when she gets into the union is a complete falsality. No, it's and not. it's a complete it, falsality. Well, this is where we have to disagree. Go on. And, and because it, 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 it's, it's, it's the day to day. Go on. Yeah, and, and obviously, my concept of, of, of them might be different from from someone else's, right? Well, let's not talk about the concept, let's talk about the harsh reality. Let's talk about instances where there have been demonstrations of, say, white so you women give in me particular. one uh, person, yeah. and, and that's amazing, right? I can give you Jesse Williams. Well, what has Drake done for Vitamin, the black community? Say that again? What has he done? Yeah. What has he done for... Does he not constantly, in these music videos, everything that he does, does he not constantly, like, employ black people? All right, so... Does he not? But, then, oh, but we can apply that with almost that every rapper, with every, with every, yeah, rapper, yeah. With every rapper, yeah. every basketball player. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, have, we have a majority of rappers so who would rather do is, have a white bomb on screen than a black bomb. Well, here's what it is. So for me, a lot of people who have for me, in, about, in, order to do, in order to do better work, you have to make a question. It's like, I'm going to make an attempt to improve black people's condition in this area. Yeah, but, but just by osmosis, I can walk in the room, go into a shop, buy something, and it just happens to be a black store. No, I'm not making a conscious effort to actually seek out black stores and, and subsidize them. Absolutely, absolutely. Right? So I can't give Drake, but, but, but Jim, there is a whole lot of... Um, Would you like me to give you another one? Oh, you can give me another one, but what I'm saying is, it's no, not, it's not, it's not the norm. It's not the? It's not the norm. But For European parents, Okay, so, and it, because on, it, it shouldn't be a norm. So then, I've normal. given you three. I've given you three so far. I can give you another one. You give Colin, me twenty-two. Colin Kaepernick. I will ask you to give me the same amount of examples. May, 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 on the may, black I, jump, side. may I jump in, Colin Kaepernick? Colin Kaepernick's parents were not uh, part of his uh, black betterment process. He got that for his own, and many um, mixed heritage people where, get that on their own. Where was, wait, on his own? So Colin Kaepernick was, was a foster parent. Adopted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was, he's a, was a foster parent. So his original parents yeah. was a, 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 Europe, a European, American yeah. European lady and a, a mix or a black dude, mm. and then they put him up for adoption. Mm. He was adopted by a, Europe, uh, a European American Absolutely. couple, yeah. right? But there is no, I, I've seen no, 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 no tale evidence of them, to show. Them, them putting him on that path. Really? It was something he did on his own. That's what I see. Yeah. I'd have to say I'd have to say false, but let me let me come back to you. You can't go, 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 go. because I'll be go I'll be surprised, right? right? Go and, and, and what it is, that's the, that is what I see consistently. Now, if you are of uh, mixed heritage and you're walking through the world, yeah, you're going to be uh, uh, your certain um, certain uh, realities are going to be uh, thrust upon you. Once they're thrust upon you, you might have to take the initiative to go and do some kind of research. From what I'm seeing, many people of mixed heritage go through. And I see it here today. And when I see people mixed, some of them, I'm giving them information that they've never known. So, they, 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 
the reason we're talking because they hear a black face and a mixed face that and they jump in and they hear information they want they, they didn't know prior to hearing. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing this quite like mass of European parents who are it's about you find like your African roots, um, son, daughter, and uh, you know you love your, your traditional hair. I don't see that. And I don't expect to see that and the reason I don't, I don't expect to see that is because many uh, people of European descent when they're looking for their partner if they're picking Chinese, Indian, Black, and it's because of a physical look, right? They're not going to be invested in the cultural uh, background of the people. If, 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 if they're on the market, it's like everyone's an option. Because yeah. they're not going to study everyone's background, and, you know what I mean? So it has to come in the process of when they find someone, and sometimes they just don't do it, and many times they don't do it. Well, do you think it's the responsibility of no. that? No, no. I don't think so. It should be the responsibility of the person. Yeah. Of the person. Yes. Yes. The question is, the question is, and I don't mean to kind of like, the examples have been given, and myself in particular, I know mixed race people in this area who European side have taken to have taken to basically learning about the culture, basically influencing their culture, so that it's not just the European side of them that shines through. That they do have that culture. Now the problem is where us as a black community, we then just conflate all of that with bad experiences, which I have to like respect to yourself. You haven't actually given me fruitful examples of. Do you understand? Oh, what, what, fruitful what, examples what's of what's example you want? Fruitful examples of European women, right? Who have gone against or have not bothered basically teaching them or educating well, them. We have mixed we have mixed people here, right? Whenever one comes up we'll draw them and we'll go, tell but, me this, your but, you, but you understand that again, you're kind of shooting in the dark right now. No, because I'm telling you from what is that this? In this in this city, in this and, and across the globe, mm. I've come across many mixed heritage unions, right? And and what I find consistent is a lack of knowledge about the African side of this, right? That's because of the community oh. they're in. And obviously the, the part the part that the African side plays in raising, if any at all, right? I'm seeing this quite consistent in many avenues, so I'm, it's a concern. Now, if that concern, I don't expect the European parents to then become pro-African, but then, teach their kids but then, that culture. I, but then I'm not really, we can say that about this black culture in general. That, yeah, in the yeah, sense oh, that, in the yeah. sense that yeah. why do you think we have such a dis... dis um, Oh, what's the word? What's the word? Um, a separation between African Americans and African immigrants in the Americas. They don't see each other as the same. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think that is? Well, well, it's, well, because well, well, it's because, because of the ignorance. Because of the history behind. Well, we don't. We don't. We don't have to go to America. We can go. We can come here. We can come here. We have the Jamaican. They have the same legacy that African Americans. You understand the same experience that African Americans. The African American immigrant who comes to the United States wouldn't have the same legacy as an African American. But they haven't. They haven't taken upon themselves to learn it. Same way you say that they should have the responsibility. Well, it's the legacy of white supremacy is why that, that why black process happens. So we can give examples, right? Yeah. So it, it, whichever dynamic you want, you want the dynamic of African Americans and Africans. Which one? So so, so, so let's, let's look at the, the, the story dynamic. African Americans are in, in America and they've been subjugated to many many history of brutality, right? And because of that, they are the way they are, and they even say se separate amongst themselves, right? If an African is coming from the continent, more than likely they're coming, uh, they're paying money and time and effort to go somewhere for a purpose. That purpose is either a better life or education, right? Just mean they're already in a different mindset. So, so the, the fact that they're taking that trip puts them somewhere else, right? So when they come, there's really that separation of different cultures and backgrounds, right? There's also very few values given to them that, that's going to that's going to benefit them by joining the African American community. Yeah, very few. Yeah. So already that's there. There's even there's even uh, stories of them being told not to associate with African Americans because yeah. they're trouble, yeah. right? There's even words that Africans have to describe African Americans. Yeah. That's negative. No, we can literally apply that with the Jamaican community here. With, yeah. Africa, with, 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 with Africans, even even as I grew up, my mum said not to not to hang out with us. Absolutely. Because Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. I would put to oh, you. There you go. So you I would put to you. I would put to you. Right. When when two people get together out of love, right? Why have you then allocated? I'm not saying that you have allocated, but there seems to be an obligation of responsibility that you don't necessarily apply to anyone else who's black, and would have more responsibility to teach themselves the history of African Americans in order to just better. Just to just 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 circle your arm. Are you talking about if a black man finds a black woman? I'm not putting emphasis on them to teach their, their black no, no, offspring no. history. Yeah, yeah, you're not giving you're not putting the same emphasis. I, 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 more, there's more. Are you? There's more. Really? You're talking about me first. Yeah. Of oh, course, cool. has to be. Me. So then I have to. Because I'm a black belt in my building. So then I have to understand. So that's what I do. Yeah, I understand. So I have to understand now. What is the difference between what is the distinct difference between interracial relationships where that union and that dynamic is supposedly there? 
and Black Dynamics oh, were that union and that dynamics is supposedly there. What is the difference? Here's the difference. What type of political are you? When black people come to that, uh, come together with black people, there, there is a universal understanding of what black people have gone through. Right? Yeah. Well, oh. I just have to interject because we've just demonstrated that there isn't a universal understanding because of the dynamics, the differences and the separation let me between explain. Africans. Let me explain. Go on, go on. A black African can come here and they can know that I'm not going to have that black Jamaican because he's troublemaker. Let's say, right? Like you said, right? But that black African also knows that it, because of my black skin and how I look, I will be subject. I, 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 I might be uh, uh, a victim of a racist attack, or I might not be able to get a work because of my phenotype and where I'm from. So even though I'm superior to those Jamaicans, I'm not as superior as the guys above us, right? Yeah. This is because, because, yeah, that's what you're saying. When you say you don't have a pen, it's a form of superiority. You are better than them. But stay away from them. This further speaks on the eighth. I haven't answered your question. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. Now, so that means they, so even though you're the superior Nigerian and they might be the inferior Jamaican, as you want to put it. When you come together, you both know we're kind of in a bit of a trouble yeah. there. Yeah? But, and, and because of the history of white supremacy, division is there. Like, you know, the white skin division, the, 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 the traditional African division, the poor black division, right? That is just, that's just, that's fighting not amongst the family, right? Which we can't resolve. But, when you have a European, that's a different dynamic. That's a completely different dynamic. Go on. Because, and here's the dynamic. That, the European family, from not all, but most cases, when you see uh, the, the non-acceptance of that union, from my observation and the data I see, and the stories that I've read, it seems to be from the European band, you are marrying down, you're disgracing the family, right? And that same dynamic works within your Nigerian and, and Jamaica. So you have everything black is terrible, now the black people come together, they accept they're, they're collectively terrible, but amongst the black terribleness, we have, we have levels. So at the top level you have the rich black black skin person, then you might have the indigenous, intelligent African person, then you have the homeless black oh where have you go down, right? So what I'm saying is in the European side You've just gone to a different section. But this is the problem. This is the problem. When you put that judgment onto the European person, that's, you're not putting the judgment onto the person who is with the person. Oh, no, you're putting family. it onto their family. Of course. And they're completely divorced from their family in that situation because issue. their family is already exiled. <laughs> yeah, and this even, is the problem. Even that assertion it doesn't actually answer the question of what is the difference between the union and the union. Here's a union. So basically, right? I'm always speaking from a black better man's perspective. Like, what can we do collectively to improve black people's existence? Yeah. Because it's necessary, right? So if I'm saying, first of all, marrying a black woman, you've already boosted your self-esteem, right? Potentially, right? Because if they're not married, then they're going to go to the Marrying, marrying, oh, 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 oh. Now, the next step is to try to, try to be intelligent and have your own business. You have your own business, you become somewhat wealthy. In the second generation, your wealth passes out. Yeah. When you marry a non-black person, and that's your plan, it's your plan. Once you marry someone who's non-black, they're always going to have some kind of affiliation to a non-black collective. Meaning that there's no guarantee that they are going to want to uh, put the time and energy into better in the black community because they're not from it. They don't experience what they're going through day to day. The Nigerian does, the Jamaican does, but the European woman doesn't. Therefore, meaning. These are the problems yeah. you have. This is why you're hearing yeah. This is why you're hearing. Reason why you hear why why um uh, black people not uh, why they're not training people yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. because of that, right? But this is the problem. It becomes then very clinical, and then it becomes a very kind of like marrying to kind of like almost economically marrying, rather than it actually means marrying someone for character, marrying someone for love. Yeah, said and the unfortunate. This is my speciality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, you're here to my speciality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The unfortunate of that all is that we then don't become any better than our oppressors. Because that is the exact same system that they use, right? That is the exact same system that they've used for many centuries, right? To keep the world in place. The whole point is that we're supposed to be breaking this system, right? And the only way you can do that, for me personally, is if you get rid of the system completely, not join it, and then just put someone else on top, right? Now the problem is, when we talk about relationships, especially inter inter intermarriage relationships or interracial relationships, right? This is my biggest problem with the black community. Love is always taken out of the equation. Before you come to love, it's fetish. 
before you come to fet before you before you come to fetish, it's black um what's it black male over masculinity. Before you come to that, it's wealth because he's an athlete or whatever, right? It never comes to to love. To love. That's the biggest problem, and this is one of the biggest problems because if that's the mentality that you're having towards interracial relationships, that's the mentality that you're probably having towards black relationships, and then you wonder why black relationships aren't working. Now the problem is, yeah, give me six. The problem with that is, for me personally, if you go into a business transaction, once that business transaction deems non-profitable for you or just a complete waste of time, you opt out. This is why people can opt out of relationships so easily. But it's very different when it's love. In love, you can't opt out like it's a business. So my issue is again this projection of what they want the black kind of like dynamic to be, right? They're projecting onto interracial marriages, and a lot of the time we don't get to control our own narrative. We've never had black people have controlled our narrative. White people have controlled our narrative. Homogenous black, homogenous white. Interracial people, we don't get to control our narrative. We never have. But interracial people who don't in terms of people within interracial unions have never had the power so, to basically go, like, go, go, go. So yeah, you say that. And and this is my speciality, right? Go on, go on. This concept that black people are, or people are, 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 are not married because of love and, and, and that's where we are is a bit of an issue, right? Because you don't just walk down the street, see a beautiful person quote unquote, and then you fall in love, right? For example, that same beautiful person looks great. If she was homeless, I don't think you would necessarily treat her the same, right? There'll be, there'll be some kind of barrier there. I hear you. So we have these kind of like uh, stopping points. Absolutely. Right? So there's not such a thing as woman on the street, beautiful woman, marriage. You take the woman home, marriage. Yeah? I'd have to disagree, but go on. For the, for the, no, no, for the sake of conversation, it's more I believe in true love. But go on, go on, go on. Okay, it's more that matter. But go on, go on. I don't want to interrupt you. Go on, go on. Right. What I'm saying is, when you look at this person, there's certain rules that stand in your head that make you pick it, whether you know it or not. Yeah? Right? Oh. You, yeah? Oh. I'm saying that, that you, you have to want what's right for yourself. Yeah, for, 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 for your woman for, and for your, for your children and so forth, right? This, this is the further conversation. So, when you're picking a, a, a partner, all this has to come out. So if you're picking someone that you know is going to cause heartache and pain on her, I mean, if I pick this woman, she's going to lose her family. Yeah. Well, that's, that, that, that's already, you've already yeah, caused one yeah, pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's wrong. No, 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 Hey, yeah. you know, you know, you keep, keep fighting the good fight, bro. You need to, you need to give him his meds. You need to give him his meds. I really don't know what's up with him. Is it the topic? Is yeah, he's, he's, he's No, no, go, 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 go. Sorry. No, no, go. He just heckles me every time I'm in the corner. Hey, Babu. I just wanted to say hello to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're alright, Rajiv. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, so, go, go, go. So, was, but, um, I was going to go so, I, I, I only, I only you don't want to actually lose your parents, that's fine, right? You are saying you're going you're gonna to bring forth children. You don't want the child to go through hardship. Yeah. You want them to have a grandma, a grandpa. Yeah. So, so really you're starting a situation that's going to be hard enough. So this is the universal uh, uh, concept of love. It's more than just, I love her in the shape of her nose. But this is the problem though. This is a very narrow idea of love. Can I, can most, I, yeah, okay. What's the um, topic about? What is it about? Black families and interracial unions, uh, whether they're productive or not to the black establishment Are you guys doing a rap building. Are you guys doing a rap Okay. And you are a negative um, interracial... No, no. He, he finds it counterproductive. He's not against it, but he finds it counterproductive. No, it's not, it's, I would say it's counterproductive. I would say that I'm a black man in the building. I'm against it. So I have to give a strategy. I'm against it. I have to give a strategy. Yeah. So, before you go, yeah, I'm alright. So, give me two seconds. Yeah. So, I'm saying is, I have to come up with a strategy of how black people can progress. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and a black man loving a black woman is a good part of that concept. Yeah. Very much. But you understand. A million times. You have to understand that this is a system of European supremacy. Let's forget about the system. No, no, Let's forget about on, the go. system and we're going on structure. Yeah. That's what he's How? talking that's, about. That's exactly what forget I'm talking about. Forget about the system. But this is what I'm talking about. System, when we're talking, system no, no, is irrelevant. Like, when we're talking about supposed system, right? You said that you marry someone because they're going to supposed to better your situation, better X, Y, and Z, right? Who chooses, who chooses, right? Who chooses what is better? Uh, the, the individual's experience. The individual's experience. So, it, it, so what I'm saying, what, what I can give you is concept, right? Yeah, yeah, you no, no, no. yourself might be married to a European, and yeah. you might have found true love. I'm silent in that issue. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you do to, to gain happiness. Yeah, yeah. But what is true love? What is true love? Oh, the test of time. Okay. Being able to stay with each other regardless. Is that it? You can't. This is not love. Love is not because I'm with her. 
for 50 years, there is other things. Well, no, so, no, yeah, you no, know what? I, I apologize yeah. because me, myself, they say everyone define love in different ways. But what he's trying to say, I'm, I'm not trying to say like he doesn't know what he's talking about. For me, when I look at intermarriage, yeah, I'm looking at just like you said, if I marry a black woman, for me, this is a better structure. Because I'm marrying someone who has been through and know exactly and understanding what I'm going through. Because when you marry someone different, it is not just love. There is more than love. Absolutely. You marry in a whole nation. Absolutely. And it's very important. But this it's not a racist thing. But this is it is an important but this, thing. But this, that is, yes. but this is the biggest Mary. problem. The idea that other races do not go through struggle. Say that's again? The, that's the problem. The idea that other races do not no, go through struggle. No, my brother. Struggle is a different thing. We, I, I do not want something that they say, uh, you know, um, justice. It's just equal rights. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's equal rights, you know. What the brother is saying and what I am saying also. When you marry in someone, a different race or a different, you know, uh, you get in married to a whole nation, a whole system, a different kind of thing. Am I right, my brother? Yeah, yeah. It, it's a different then, thing. What would you say to someone who, say, in the 50s, right, got married to an Irish person, and the Irish person is not part of this? In an Irish person? Yeah. Got married to an Irish person. At 50 years old? He, no, in the 1950s. In the 50s. In the 50s. In the 50s, the 50s yeah. 60s, right? And you know that the relations and the tensions between Ireland and this system in particular were not That's on point. That's what they, they told were... you. They told you no Irish, no dogs, Absolutely. no black. That's what they told you. But we're looking at not just the cake. We're looking at the ingredients that bake the cake. Where it come from? We're going down to nitty gritty. Not just in the 50s, in the 60s, you married an Irish woman. The still the Irish woman has not gone through what you've gone through. It's a different ball game. Because you know why the Irish woman has gone through? Maybe you as a black man or a black or a white woman gonna say, it's because we've been in Europe and we're in England. If we take us out from this European thing, the Irish person haven't gone through for what we've gone through. So what you say in this slide is just you talking about no Irish, no dogs, no black. That's what you're talking about, those words. But those words is just words. Problem, We're talking about from reality. But this is the problem. The idea that struggle, not even the struggle, the struggle and the uh, hardship yeah. is race-based. That's not... No, are, you, are, you are you Irish? Are you Irish? You Irish? Tell me what the Irish have gone through minor to what the blacks have gone through. I can't. I, can, well, I can't explain what the blacks have gone through. Yeah. Not, no, no. Yeah. Run a look at the Irish family. Yeah. Um, Oliver Cromwell, decimation of their land. Okay. Just off that. That's just two examples. And who did that to the Irish? Well, I'd like to believe the British. The Sorry, who did that to the Irish? I would say the British. The British. Power. I'll tell you the difference between you and a Russian and a Spanish. And you could go on an Italian, you could go on. Because you live in a different plot of land. All of you are the same. But I'm not being racist. Am I talking right or am I talking wrong, my brother? Because, no, I'm going down to the I'm going, no. The difference is, is between, the difference is, is between you are European. You live in a plot of land. That's why they call you. So if I was born in China, does that make me Chinese? Take your time, the day is long. The question, the day if is I was born in China, does that make me Chinese? Well, that depends on what you consider. Depends on what? Be, depends on what because of consider, a passport? No, it depends on what you consider to be Chinese. You consider if you have a Chinese ideology, you're Chinese. Or if you are racially a Chinese man. No, we you are from a citizenship background. Citizenship. Citizen. Listen to this man also. Citizenship. Citizen. 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 Only citizen. Only. But what is citizen? Because I was born. There? No, because I married a Chinese woman to become no, Chinese? Uh, yes, my brother. What's more genetic? What's your yeah. point? Are you saying that Europeans didn't suffer from each other? No, that's, you, you suffer from your, your suffering. I'm not saying no, like this brother. To play the victim here, oh, you haven't get it. We, it's not a racist thing. It's about this brother was saying the Irish gone through what they gone through. So I'm telling you, who did the Irish what, what the Irish went through? Who did it to the Irish? They are all people. Who did it to us? Someone we did not know.
It's reality, my brother. We're not fighting. We just say as it was written, so it must be done. It's reality. The only problem with the assertion is that by saying by saying that by saying that there's no difference between European and this is the same rhetoric that people have used to blanket statement all of us, despite us having we're jumping off topic. Yeah. Oh. You choose now to interrupt. <laughs> you choose now to interrupt. I'm, 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 there was a very long I'm, I'm, monologue over there that you could have interrupted. Oh, go, go ahead, my brother. Sorry, sorry. Go. He's taking it somewhere else. He's taking it somewhere else. I like it. I like it. This is what I'm trying to say. We're talking about mixed relations. I'm trying to speak. Make sure you put down YouTube. I'm trying to speak about going against the system that we disagree with. Alex, and I'll bring it back to the point that you were talking about. You're talking about something else. You were talking. About, you're talking about Shimani, Alex, the, 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 the betterment, the betterment. The betterment. Yeah. Yeah. white guy that would say only Alex. Well, not me personally, but the, collectively. Yeah. That's reality. That's you cannot you deny it. You have seen the data on black African If you were Alex, yeah. and would you, you say that, white, that they white, would say she should be Alex. 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 But if you are Alex, you would have to mention the black Alex. And you still have your Irish name, your Irish name. That's a reality. You can't get away from it. What's that mean? I just got back. Not necessarily. Good, 59. Okay, so you cannot run with it. So this is my point. This is my point. When you're talking about this whole when it hits us, we don't like it. It's not shame to talk about it. Marrying for the investment, you have to X, Y, Z, and B. You just make mistakes. This is the reason why marrying a black woman is a lot better for black society and so much other, right? I would then put to you that you are then feeding into the same system that historically has oppressed not just races but working class people and people who are at the bottom of and the pit of society. When you talk about that kind of narrative, it's the narrative that people used to say back in the day, when you are fair skinned, right, you are worth more. Right? And you are more likely to marry someone or you are more attracted to someone with fair skin. Wait, wait, let me finish. You are more attracted to someone with fair skin because of the world. Now you are attracted to them for the betterment of yourself. You are attracted to them for the betterment in general of your society because you do you do good you give children you have healthy children that's better for your society now the problem with that is that we talk about colorism in the black community but what you're opting for promotes colorism okay back my answer go on so it can't be colorism because we're talking about different uh, identified groups of people so colorism is a challenge that goes in in the black world got community and it's alleged of black supremacy it's black people trying their very best to achieve European uh, looks Colorism is. Colorism, colorism, colorism definitely, it definitely kind of like reflects a lot of white supremacist views. The natural working order, i.e. men working out in the fields, getting a tan, and the women being on the inside, or the men with the wealth being on the inside, not actually having to work. And this has been systematic through different generations. Today, when we look at the black collective, and we, when, we're when, we're, when we're seeing people going for a, 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 a lighter skin person, a, a values give a, a privilege given to those, from to today's context, this is coming from that particular person achieving a certain uh, status in a European dominated society. Uh, the only problem is, I'm going to add to that. If that's the case, then how was it prominent? How was it prominent in Dynasty China? Okay, so right now, right now. Whatever dynamic the person you're talking about, that's fine, right? I'm saying within the black community, right? The black community. Not too bad. Yeah. The value of, of, of being a light skinned person historically was that European, uh, that light skinned person could achieve more European benefits. Meaning that. Uh, that's, that's within so that dynamic. But, that's not, but that is a dynamic that black people define themselves today. So you would go to ancient China, in there you can, that's fine. I'm saying today. When we're talking about what we're trying to do today, I'm talking about, I'm talking, I'm talking about tangible steps so we can find tangible solutions. So I'm not going to go to ancient China, because ancient China has nothing to do with today. No, no, but the thing is, I'm bringing up ancient China as an example of how colorism has been a natural occurrence within all societies, even before the system of white supremacy. And the reason being, I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. The reason being is, what, is that you have various, before even the, um, the idea of slavery or whatever, you have various depictions of interracial relationships. You have Othello, which was made by Shakespeare. There was no system of um, colorism or, I suppose, 
um, white so who is Shakespeare? So like, who is Shakespeare? European, uh, European. Uh, yeah, but what does that have to do with Shakespeare? The fact that even before this system of supposed white supremacy, there were interracial relationships before that, interracial unions before that, before this idea of supposed. Yeah, but he's not telling you no, there wasn't. He's just no, no, telling no, no, you as no, my no, intelligence no, no, that he don't see no, no, it is a good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying good. What I'm trying to say. What I was trying to say is that this idea of colorism. This idea that just because you are whiter, you're going to achieve more. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily originate from European no, standards. Sorry. It has been through our. Yes, but that, but, but that dialogue doesn't benefit black people. That, that, that dialogue doesn't benefit but black people. Now, here's the analogy. The analogy is we're in a free society and everyone is doing what they want. They're, some are clowns, some are uh, uh, sweepers, some are with the ice cream bags, right? And then there's a group of people coming to kill us all. Yeah. These people, right? We didn't have a conversation, no one. For this time being, we cannot be clowns. We, we, cannot, be? we cannot be clowns. Right, right. Because they're trying to kill us. So while you're being clowns, they're shooting. So we need better jobs that's going to uh, uh, assist us in this reality. Yeah. 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 Picking black women is part of that reality. In, 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 a, in, in, a, in a free society, okay. it's a TV. How are we doing? Yeah. Because we're not there. Yeah. 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 And that's when you're not there. Now you're talking about more than just what you like. It's the job you pick. This is the narrow mentality when I talk about supposedly what betters you as a person. Right? And you're saying, like you said, there are people coming to kill us, you know, someone's been a clown, whatever. I would put to you that the clown could help ease the tension of the situation so that dialogue can take place. That because it, it helps to break the ice. Now the See, that's having an open look into how. Give me two seconds. That's having an open look into how we can better ourselves by allowing alternative black existence to exist. An example of this is Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen is the guy who directed in 12 years, 12 years of slave, and he's the guy who did, um, I think, the Irish, um, the Irish, um, the hunger, the hunger strike, the hunger strikes as well. Now, when he was growing up, right, I know a whole load of people, a whole group of people, who would have asked him, "What are you doing?" And they would, he would have said, "Oh, I'm an aspiring director." They would have passed him aside because that's not what the black community needs. But now there's loads of people pining as to why he has a European partner. It's the same with Blue Cage, right? This is guy, um, the guy who plays with Blue Cage, right? His partner was European as well. Now, if you know anything about the way that actors are supposed to survive, right? They survive meal to meal, waiting for that big part, right? And a lot of the times they're not earning the big parts, right? So when these people aren't earning, no one is checking them. It's only as soon as they do big that people start checking them. And this is the problem. The problem is that we do not see alternatives, but as soon as alternatives hit it big, we then want to talk about the power. So we have to it's the same with Michael B. Jordan. Oh yeah. I have always been imagined that you were going to be a power. No, Michael B. Jordan is really dates. He's still, he's still, he's like dating in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's dating, he's dating, he's dating whatever. But Luke Cage, Luke Cage has had, his partner has been you have, there. You have to see patterns come from him. Patterns, isn't it? And I'm saying, but if every yeah. time black men are becoming rich, they are picking non-black women. But this, this is the problem. No, 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 no. This is the problem. You seem to think that it's they get rich and then they pick European women. No, 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 no. Even along the journey. I've just given you two examples. Even along the yeah. journey. You're giving him two journeys, work? but what he's giving you, he's giving you work? more than two no, journeys. No, no, no. But this is the problem. He, he, you're giving two work? examples. You're complaining about something. Not when, no, no, no. I don't complain. You're saying that when they get rich, right? They stick to what are they meant to do? Because these are the people. Wait, wait. These, are the people, these are the people that supported them during their time of making. So you so believe? So you them, believe? No. So you believe? Just because the white man or non con or non called black help the black man to reach where he is, he needs to marry his people. That's what you're saying. Because I know I, I'm, I'm hearing you. You were saying to me. I hope you're listening to put me on YouTube. You were saying to me. Just because the non-black have held the black man to be at the top and drive the Bentley, he's supposed to marry his people or her people. But that's what you're saying. If they have got the person's betterment in mind, i.e. if they were there oh. during the struggle, okay. there during the hunger, there during right. unemployment, then of course they Are you Muslim? Married. No, 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 no currently. Not currently. <laughs> I was going to ask you a question. No, no. I was going to ask you a question, no, but that's okay. No, no, he's not a Muslim. I'm not going to ask him. I'm not going to ask him. Not yet. When you become a Muslim, I'll ask him. <laughs> I, I, I wait that day. <laughs> <laughs> all, I can, all I can do is give a strategy.
marry yeah. as an individual, you choose to marry somebody who's non-black. That's your brother's thing. But I guarantee in the activity of marriage, you're going to be practicing black marriage with your wife. That's what I'm saying. 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 Marrying a black woman is part of the black betterment in that area. Yeah. So, so you, yeah. No, yes. If someone it is, is yes. Wait, wait, if someone is dysfunctional, is, yes. right? If someone is dysfunctional and abuses their wife, you're telling me them getting married is embezzlement okay, to their society. Now, no, that's why it's. No, 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 but this is the problem. You don't have to. The, the, neg the negative, the negative one, we don't like it. We so don't support no negative in the blackness. Two black, black, black men fighting, a black man treating his black wife. We don't support that. Don't think we dare to support those things. We don't support that. Do we? No, we don't. Abomination to that. It's like this, yeah? In order to fix stuff, you have to have a set guidance, right? So, when we talk about better, bro, beating your wife, isn't, there's nothing to do better. Yeah, good. Right? good. So, once a person beats their wife, they're out of better. Right? Thank you. So I'm saying, if I'm trying to fix a nation, I'm like, yo, know, here's what you do, black men. You marry a woman, you raise good children, you get a good job, you get wealth, you set your job, well, you try to help your community. Right? Obviously, things are going to happen, let's go take your I, I can't speak on this, but then I'm not going to promote that. But that's got nothing to do with that man. Good. And right now, we're black and white collectively. We need better. Very good. So Very good. So you don't think Very constructive good. criticism is better? Okay, so it, 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 it's like this. In this environment, right, the best thing that a black man can do is marry a black woman collectively. I don't think so. It's my brother. Okay. Are you not? No, no, no. Well, I disagree with the idea of marriage. No. Okay. Uh, 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 but you don't oh, believe in marriage. Oh, you believe union. in marriage. Oh, sta yeah. yeah. Stable union. Stable union. Stable union. I'm not saying the you think I'm saying. You get, oh, blame some answers. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. You get a woman, you know she's going to be pregnant, you're going to be pregnant. Yeah. So, you. So, so you make sure yeah. that she's supported, you're supported back and forth, and she has a good life as much as you can present it, and vice versa. You have to put a ring on the finger, but you tell me you just want to be pregnant woman around the world. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, you don't. It's a gay. I will complete it but it's the idea of, of just ma marriage in general, whether she's black, white, whatever. Okay, the, the marriage, idea, the, the, the word marriage is too strong idea, for you. Let's talk about that. It's strong a, for you, The idea of marriage is a financial It's very too for strong for you, the marriage name, marriage is too strong. So let's use another word. A structure, build a union. Yeah, build a union. Yeah, let me do that. The marriage is too hard for you. By the way, you're a young guy. <laughs> picking, I like that. Picking, like. picking a loved one and use, use making sure that both of you, for the sake of the children and the family, yeah. are yeah. secure in, in, in a partner. Of course, if you lock her up, I, I believe you should, look, you should look after both of them. Yeah, but before you knock her up, I would say she basically planned and you have to try to have a structure life. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, so you can go where you want, right? Yeah, well, so, that's why I push the promote. Well. I'm silent on miscegenation. I'm silent. Right? If you as a black man want to marry a new black woman, you do that. But well, I'm not going to promote that because that's not part of black family. And right now, because of where we are, see, every, every, every non black person seems to understand what black people are from, right? But black people don't seem to understand. Some of us don't. Not some of us. Okay. Some. Well, well, I challenge that now, again, right? And I'm saying, you have to have a strategy for them. And, and what is a strategy like? This is love everyone. But love everyone. The problem, is, the problem, is, the problem, is, the problem I find with your strategy of living is the problem I find with your strategy of vegetables is that it suffers from the same European concept of denial, of looking elsewhere when you have general problems within the community. That's the biggest problem. And for me personally, it's one of those things where, like you say, you say that building a unit, I agree with you, building a unit is what's important. But I would assert to you that the character is more important than the skin color. Because if you have better character, you're going to be looking to better. Wait, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. If you have a better character, you're going to be looking to better the lives of other people anyway. Right? So what do you say so about the character to the black people? Sorry, 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 my brother. Sorry. Let me come on this one. I've seen now. For me personally, I have to ask you, right? Collectively, you're talking about the units getting together. We haven't seen that. Collectively, you're talking about putting their financial interests into better avenues. I haven't seen that. I'll give you a firm example. Let me come. Um, Nat, not, it wasn't Nat Turner. Nat Turner is the actual character. I think it was Nate Parker, right? He made his cell phone go through the nation, right? And that came out the same time as Medea. Where, where do you think black people put their money into? 
I personally put it into birth of the nation. Where do you think black people put their money? Well, the country community put it into birth of the nation. Slaves. Oh, they came in because... No, I, no, because I was, I was part of that movement. So okay, brilliant. I, I, I went to special even, screening. Okay, clearly even did it, but we're not that big not enough. Not a handful of black people, eh? Not that big a enough very, because it did not make money. No. It did not make money. You understand, there's a big, wide right. range right. of people. There's a minor you're talking about. Okay, can I say this in a second? Can I say this in a second? Wait, 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 they went to see Medea, which doesn't doesn't do anything for us. If anything, it's completely derogatory towards us. So I have to ask you, right? Where I generally pick I pick someone for their character, right? And they have me doing things that are bettering black community. The question is, the question is, we're talking about black empowerment, right? And you're talking about like the certain steps to support black empowerment. Can you give me steps that have been taken in the last decade or in the last 20 years? By this generation. That's the black generation. That you're doing, By that the black generation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So I want you to tell me where did the destruction started? Where did it start? Because listen, oh, we just heard it to answer them, then we'll come to your yeah. question. If you don't mind, sir. If you don't mind, sir. This is what I want to jump in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Who's asking the question? You're asking where has uh, this community tried to start? Where's the mobilization? So. The reason we're here now talking about whole nation, yeah, eh? is because that's where the bottom of the ground comes from. That's why we're trying to get out But you gave a, a very good uh, you gave a very good example of the Earth Nation. Right? Look at the story of the Earth Nation guy, uh, is it Nick Park? Yeah. Nick Park, right? When he was 19, he dated a European lady, right? Uh, him and his friends, they had intercourse. She then accused him of rape, so, yeah? She accused him of rape, and then um, he, 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 he beat the case. He then makes a movie that is going to um, uplift black people. The first thing people do is bring up that he tried to make a movie. Was, was 20 on, years ago, wasn't it? And I was on Twitter right? when that happened. Not on Twitter, but I was there as presence on Twitter when that happened. Yeah. Do you know who, for the most part, was paying it up? Black women. Black women. Yeah, and, and that's an obvious yeah. Do you know the reason why? Because they're the only one. Yeah. Now, for me personally, again, how does that speak to the betterment of black society? You chuck someone under the bus. Just because, wait, just because of the skin color. Of their partners. Isn't that racism in its purest form? No! A no. black person cannot be racist! But the problem, no, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Don't do that to me, my so, black wait, wait, brother! Wait, 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 wait. No, no, even, you can't even be racist, it's... you should not even, um, you should not even use that Girl, word! Let me, let me finish, let me Don't finish. do it! Let me use another word, okay. and I'll let okay. you finish. Can we not be racist towards each other? No, we each cannot! No. no, black no, people no, no, cannot no, no, be no, racist! No, no. No, no, nothing. No, 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 we just have disagreement. No, 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 no. We can't be, be racist towards each other. No. no, 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 no. What is racism? What is racism? I want you to put me on YouTube. Let this black brother come in front of me and explain to me, define me what is racism. You, yeah, you tell me that black people can be racist, my brother. Like black people can be racist to each other. Oh, this one too. Yeah, sorry. I'm looking at him also. Tell me what is racism. And you're going to tell me if a black man can be racist to another black man. Any of you two tell me what is racism. Denying, I would say denying privileges towards an ethnic group or religion. And that ethnic group. What group are you in? You in the same group as me. South African. You are in the same group as me. You are black. Put no, this on YouTube. No, no you are in the same group, is, group as me. How can I be racist brother, brother, to you? Brother, there is an ethnicity. Ethnicity. There's, there's a discrimination yeah. between. Oh, discrimination now. Good. But Listen that, to the word. I cannot even spell. I cannot prejudice. I cannot even spell the word. Put it on YouTube too. A black man can never be racist to another black man. Never. No, never in life. For the of We're not forgetting. Tell me. Never. In its purest form. Never whatsoever. Um,